Hey everyone, it's Will, Gamer Dad, with another video for you. So, of course, there's new update here, uh, version 2.7.6. Now note that this one is the same version as we already had with AS Shigiri. So all you have to do is reset your game and either hard reset and then have it load the data directly. You don't have to go to the Play Store or the App Store if you're on iOS. Now that being said, in tonight's episode of Should You Summon, we will discuss the single and only banner available tonight, which is actually a normal banner, so no fatefuls that I can see, for the manifest for both Philo as well as Vena. Now, if you haven't already, make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. I also do have a Patreon account for those who want to support me this way. So let's go over the odds here. You can see that uh, both Vena as well as Philo are Upgraded only on their normal style form. So for those who are chasing AS Vena, this one isn't one where you can directly get AS Vena as an upgraded. Although you do get a 0.01% chance as a 5 star, just like a lot of the other 5 stars in this particular banner. So 0.4% for the regular, uh, 4.5% and 0.8% uh, for the 5 star version. And you can see um, it does have some of the newer units. So Yuella is included in this particular banner and you can see uh four and a halfs uh normal five stars uh rainbow sisters you know the standard stuff all the way down as usual okay so in case you are um wondering we'll go over philo first phil is the more interesting of the two um units now we won't talk about his normal version we're going to talk about his enhanced version after manifest so one of the things that people are really looking for here with Philo is that once he gets enhanced, uh, he'll have a preemptive water slash attack AoE and increases crit rate of all party members uh, to guarantee 100% for three moves and it also can inflict sleep. Now, the sleep component is very nice for uh, you know crowd control, but the main thing is crit rate setters on any team are especially useful against boss fights, uh, being that the critical damage can do a ton of damage, and most end game boss fight teams do need one crit setter. So this one actually fits well on water teams as well as on slash teams if you don't already have a slash um, crit rate setter. Not only that, but his other uh, single target two times XL attack now enhances all slash uh, equipped characters damage by 50% for, for three turns and applies water resistance down 30% stackable for three up to 60% total course speed enhanced on itself and depending on number of buffs applied to him will increase his damage as well so remember that the buffs can be uh, from grasta from gear uh, from other units and so on and so forth and don't forget that his axe sword katana uh, damage is you know going to apply to him and the speed array so he's already given himself two buffs so um very very powerful uh works really well uh for multiple units and like i said for a water slash team he's going to be quite indispensable now in terms of Vena, of course she does not set zone she is not the uh, wind setter like her um i guess twin sister as Vena. however instead of her having the um really expensive uh, wind type magic AoE um, that does regen. It also increases int by 40% uh, for all party members and it actually restores party members MP with 30 MP. So it's actually not bad because before one of the main drawbacks to her move is that it costs a ton of MP and you're going to run out not only that but of course it's just a regen and one and uh, you know wind type AoE so nothing special there but it does enhance it whereas you're getting the int buff to your entire team so will help with magic teams and like I said uh, restore all party members by uh, 30 MP. Now that being said uh, that's one of her moves. The other five-star enhanced move will not uh, is her main DPS, which is a wind type uh, single target XL times two. It also increases with the manifest wind type attack of her by twenty-five percent, stackable up to fifty, of course, and increased damage by fifty percent when crit. So um, Vena does get a little bit more utility and damage. However, uh, unfortunately, even with the manifest, I would say she's quite lacking compared to her AS counterpart so the real question is should you summon now um 
I will talk about it in a couple of different ways, but in general, regardless of which point of the game you're at, these units can still be useful. Now, remember that most 5 stars can still fit on a team, and in the case of Philo, I think he is a great addition to your, like I said, either slash team, but really for your water team or your water slash team. The fact that it can enhance essentially like a true prayer, and I don't know if you've watched other people's videos, but the true prayer um, Grasta basically allows uh, someone to kind of cast a 50% buff for that particular weapon type. He does it for all slash attacks. And so he can be enhanced uh, by using that with a slash zone, for example, although there is diminishing returns. But outside of slash zone, very, very useful in water zone. And that's where really he, I really think he really shines best, especially with the likes of, for example, AS Nika, uh, AS Annabelle, uh, Zaviro, so on and so forth. But at the end of the day, if you don't really require him, because let's be honest, we do have slash zone setters. We do have really powerful water, especially water pierce, for example. Um, even within water itself, you still have other units uh, that can fit the bill as well. And so, um, and in the case of Vena, even with Manifest, I really don't think that she would be uh, your choice in Magic Zone teams, for example, where you have a variety of powerful uh, Magic users. If you're looking for a Magic user on your Magic team, you're probably using Dunerith or AS Dunerith. In the case of a healer, uh, you're already using probably Meryl if you have Meryl. So, um, you know, the list goes on and on. And so, uh, unfortunately, my advice to uh, most of you in terms of uh, summoning on this is probably no. It's best to save your stones uh, for a future banner, being that Power Creep has has really uh, um, you know, approached global and we have a lot of new, more powerful units coming out in the near future. Now, the only thing I would say that is that if you do want to collect all the units and you are missing one or both of these, this is a pretty great way as an upgraded banner to get one or both units, 1.2% uh, chance for any form of each particular unit. And in the case of Vena, if you don't have any form of Vena, you can still side grade that to AS Vena, which by the way is great as a wind zone being that she has a healing capacity uh, and so on and so forth. So um, as for myself, I did mention this earlier, but if you've missed that, I'm probably not going to be summoning on this banner, although I am tempted. I don't have either unit and let's be honest, we want to play Pokemon. We want to catch them all. Uh, it's going to take a little bit of uh, fortitude to avoid summoning on this particular banner and holding out for the future. Now that being said, let me know in the comments below if you're still uh, planning on it. I know a lot of you have already replied and said you're probably passing on this banner, but I do know of a few uh, players who are trying to collect uh, the units they don't have, in which case this is still a viable banner for you. For everyone else, it's time to wait for Chapter 9 and eventually Tiramisu as well as the advent of AS Tiramisu. Thanks for watching! We'll see you next time.